Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Debt Repair video. In today's episode, we will be working on a 2159 MacBook Pro Space Gray. Uh, this unit was mailed in for us for an LCD repair. It uh, looks like someone's dog was actually chewing on the LCD, but we'll take a closer look in a second. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do here is go ahead and flip the unit over and remove the pentalobe screws on the bottom, holding the bottom case on. All right, so now we're gonna use a suction cup, clamp it on here and pull upwards. And pull the bottom case off of the unit here. All right, so now that we're inside the unit, the first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the battery. Uh, to do that, we need to remove this little cover here. Unplug the battery management unit flex cable from the logic board. And using a T5 screwdriver, we're gonna go ahead and unscrew this screw right here. Uh, this is what actually makes that main connection point between the battery and the logic board. So we're just gonna bend that up and off the battery daughter board, and now we're good to go. All right, so starting with the T3 bit here, we're gonna remove the two screws on either side. And then the four screws that hold the LCD uh, display connector in place. And moving to the two black ones that hold this second retention bar in place. All right, now switching to a T5 bit, we're first gonna undo this T5 screw that holds the Wi-Fi cables in place. All right, so now moving on, we're gonna use a PL1 screwdriver and remove all of the screws on either side that hold the Wi-Fi vent module in place. And now we're gonna use a T8 bit and remove the six screws, three on either side of the hinges. And now using a spudger, we're first gonna disconnect the Wi-Fi cables followed by the LCD right there. Then we're gonna go ahead and pop out this Wi-Fi vent module. Set that aside. And now we're ready to open up the unit and remove this broken LCD. We're gonna do so by simply opening up the unit. and pulling the top case up and towards ourself, just like that. So we're gonna take this broken LCD and set it aside. All right, now we've got our brand new LCD here that we're gonna go ahead and unbox and put on this new unit for our client here. So the first thing I like to do while the cardboard is still on is take one of our screwdrivers here, usually our PL5, Pentalope 5, and go ahead and open up these hinges just a little bit. The reason why I do this with the cardboard on is just in case your screwdriver slips, you don't risk damaging the LCD. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is make sure we get all of these bits from the LCD connections inside of the top case. We're gonna go ahead and align the hinges with the top case, slide them in. And we're gonna hold the hinges to close them and close the top case with it. And there we are, now we can just close the hinges all the way. And go ahead and screw in the six T8 screws on either side to secure the LCD to the top case. All right, so now, now that we've got the LCD installed, the first thing we're gonna do is line up all of our connections here. And 
then install the Wi-Fi vent module. Sometimes these antennas need help coming through that little cutout there. Once you get them started, they will come through just like that. There we are. So the very first thing we're gonna do is the four T5s, the black ones that hold the LCD and Wi-Fi bracket uh, to the top case. We're gonna go ahead and start with those just to make sure everything is lined up correctly. So now we're gonna plug in the LCD display connector. And go ahead and screw on the retention bracket starting with the top one. And then we're gonna take the T3 screws for our hinge covers, as well as our hinge covers themselves, slot them into place. Now we're gonna take our PL1 and screw in the million screws on either side that hold on the Wi-Fi vent module assembly. So the last steps here, we're gonna take a T5 screwdriver first. Go ahead and secure the battery connection point to the logic board. Take the battery management unit flex cable. Slot it in its respective slots on the main board. Alright, as you can see, we've already got an Apple logo there, but we're going to check everything else out. Uh, meanwhile, let's go ahead and get a look at that old LCD here. So not only is it quite dirty, uh, but you can see there is quite a bit of damage. Again, it does look like the client's dog uh, did chew on this LCD. A little bit harder to see on the top case, uh, but definitely marks of teeth for sure. Looks like everything is working as intended. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And with the help of the community, we'll make sure to assist you. If you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techtep.com or click the link below for mail-in repairs. We'll see you guys in the next episode.